पिछले वर्षों के नायर द्वारा एग्जाम लिए गए हैं ए एन एल डी सी के एग्जाम्स के लिए और ए एन सेवेंटी परसेंट एल जी एस के लिए इन परीक्षाओं को देखते हुए यह स्पष्ट होता है कि सर्वेइंग एक इम्पोर्टेंट पार्ट है और सर्वेइंग से कम से कम दो सवाल अवश्य पूछे जाते हैं तो आइए इस विषय पर हम चर्चा करते हैं और सर्वेइंग के सवालों को सॉल्व करने की कोशिश करते हैं जिससे आपके आगे की परीक्षाओं में सर्वेइंग से संबंधित सवाल न छूटने पाए तो आज का विषय है सर्वेइंग हाइड्रोग्राफी सर्वे डील्स विद द मैपिंग ऑफ हाइड्रोग्राफी सर्वे निम्नलिखित में से किससे से संबंधित है तो इसका सही जवाब है लार्ज वाटर बॉडीज इन सर्वेइंग व्हेन कर्वेचर ऑफ अ अर्थ इज टेकन कंसिडरेशन देन द टाइप दैट टाइप ऑफ सर्वेइंग इज कॉल्ड अर्थात जिस सर्वेइंग में अर्थ के कर्वेचर को कंसिडर किया जाता है उस तरह के सर्वेइंग को क्या किस सर्वेइंग का नाम लिया जाता है और उसे जियोडेटिक सर्वेइंग कहा जाता है फॉलोइंग इज द टर्म यूज इन लेवलिंग वाइल्ड डिडक्शन ऑफ लेवल्स इनमें से कौन सा टर्म लेवलिंग में इस्तेमाल किया जाता है जब लेवल के रिडक्शन की बात होती है और वह है हाइट ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंट इन लेवलिंग फॉर टेकिंग लेवल्स ऑफ ग्राउंड विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज यूज और इसका सही जवाब है डम्पी लेवल द लिस्ट काउंट ऑफ प्रिजमेटिक कंपास इज प्रिजमेटिक कंपास का लिस्ट काउंट क्या होता है तो वह होता है पंद्रह मिनट द हॉरिजेंटल एंगल बिटवीन द ट्रू मेरिडियन एंड द मैग्नेटिक मेरिडियन एट ए प्लेस इज कॉल्ड एंड इट इज कॉल्ड डिक्लेनेशन अ नेगेटिव डिक्लेनेशन शोज डेट द मैग्नेटिक मेरिडियन इज टू एंड द राइट ऑप्शन इज बेस्टर्न साइड ऑफ द ट्रू मेरिडियन थियोडोलाइट इज एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट यूज फॉर थियोडोलाइट का इस्तेमाल किस काम में किया जाता है और इसका ही सही जवाब है मेजरमेंट ऑफ बोथ हॉरिजेंटल एंड वर्टिकल एंगल्स द प्रोसेस ऑफ टर्निंग द टेलीस्कोप अबाउट द वर्टिकल एक्सेस इन हॉरिजेंटल प्लेन इज नोन एज एंड इट इज नोन एज स्विंगिंग साइज ऑफ ए थियोडोलाइट इज स्पेसिफाइड बाई साइज ऑफ थियोडोलाइट is specified by the diameter of the lower plate which of the following is not the function of leveling head and that is none of these does mean that to support the main part of the instrument it is the function to as that that through the light through the tripod it is also the function to provide a means for leveling the through the light it is also the function if the lower clamp clue screw is tightened and upper clamp screw is loosened then theodolite may be rotated and the the option right option from the given is on its inner spindle with relative motion between the vernier and the graduated scale of lower plate a telescope is said to be inverted if its and if its vertical circle is to its right and the bubble of the telescope is the cross hairs in the surveying telescope are placed at and it is placed at much closer to the eye piece than to the objective lens for which of the following permanent adjustment of theodolite the aspire test is used and it is used for the adjustment of the horizontal axis the adjustment of horizontal cross hair is required particularly when the instrument is used for and that is leveling the needle of magnetic compass is generally supported on the and that is needle bearing if n is the number of side then the total sum of the exterior angles of a closed transverse is and it is 2n plus 4 the box of prismatic compass is made of 
the box of prismatic compass is made of brass which of the following errors is not eliminated by the method of repetition of horizontal measurement and that is errors due to displacement of a station signals the error due to eccentricity of the inner and outer axis can be eliminated by and that can be eliminated by reading both vernier and taking the mean of the two in the double application of principle of reversion the apparent error is and the apparent error is four times the true error a level line is a, what is a level line a level line is a line parallel to the mean spheroidal surface of the earth the following sides are taken on a turning point and that is fore side and back side fore side and back side are taken on a turning point the rise and fall method of leveling provides a complete check on the rise and fall methods of leveling provides a complete check on all back side fore side and intermediate side so all of the above is the right answer height of instrument method of leveling is a height of instrument method of leveling is a quicker and less tedious for large number of intermediate side the principle of working of an optical square is based on and it is based on double reflection which of the following instrument or instruments used for measurement of angles and that is sextant the rise and fall method the rise and fall method provide a check on the reduction of intermediate point levels if the staff is not held vertically at a leveling station the reduced level calculated from the observation would be and it will be less than the true reduced level the difference between a level line and a horizontal line is that the difference between a level line and a horizontal line is that level line is a curved line while horizontal line is a straight line the sensitivity of bubble tube can be increased by it can be increased by by increasing the diameter of the tube decreasing the length of the bubble increasing the viscosity of the liquid or decreasing the radius of curvature of the tube and here increasing the diameter of the tube with the rise of temperature the sensitivity of a bubble tube decreases increases remains unaffected and it is decreases the permissible limit of error in chaining for measurement on the rough or hilly ground is and it is 1 is to 2000 the scale on which three dimension can be measured is known as and it is known as comparative scale the error due to bad ranging is the error due to bad ranging is known as cumulative positive sensitive sensitiveness of a level tube is designed by and it is designed by the radius of the level tube dumpy level is most suitable when dumpy level is most suitable when many readings are to be taken from a single setting of the instrument the difference of level between two station a and b is to be determined for best result the instrument station should be and the instrument instrument station should be equal distance from the station a and station b contour interval is contour interval is inversely proportional to the scale of the map an imaginary line lying throughout the surface of the ground and preserving a constant inclination to the horizontal is known as and it is known as contour gradient a series of closely spaced contour line represent a series of closely spaced contour line represents a, a steep slope direct method of contouring 
डायरेक्ट मेथड ऑफ कंटूरिंग इज मोस्ट एक्यूरेट मेथड इफ द स्मॉलेस्ट डिवीजन ऑफ ए वर्नियर इज लॉन्गर देन द स्मॉलेस्ट डिवीजन ऑफ इट्स प्राइमरी स्केल द वर्नियर इज नोन एज एंड द वर्नियर इज नोन एज रेट्रोग्रेड वर्नियर The maximum allowable limit up to a measurement may vary from the true value is known as, and it is known as expected error. Generally, while chaining, the arrow which a company with one chain must be, and that must be five numbers. As per Indian standard, the length of one link in thirty meter chain, and it should be. it should be 20 cm indirect method of contouring the process of locating or identifying points lying on a contour is called and it is called vertical control closed contours with higher value inwards represent a and that represent a hillock contour interval is and the right answer from the options is the vertical distance between two consecutive contours benchmark is established by benchmark is established by a split leveling the type of surveying which requires list of its work is and that is plane table surveying intersection method of detailed plotting is most suitable for and that is hilly areas in which theodolite the telescope can be revolved through a complete revolution about its horizontal axis in vertical plane and it is transit theory sensitivity of bubble tube is depends upon and sensitivity is of bubble tube is depends upon the radius of curvature of the internal surface of the tube the diameter and length of the bubble tube the viscosity of liquid used inside the tube so all of the above is the right answer when whole circle bearing is between 0 degree and 90 degree their corresponding reduced bearing will be and their corresponding reduced bearing will be equal to whole circle bearing does mean when whole circle bearing is between 90 degree and 0 degree their reduced bearing will be also between 0 degree and 90 degree when whole circle bearing is between 90 degree and 180 degree their corresponding reduced bearing will be and their reduced bearing will be 180 degree minus whole circle bearing suppose ki whole circle bearing is 100 degree then reduced bearing will be 180 degree minus 100 degree hence 80 degree when whole circle bearing is between 180 degree and 270 degree their corresponding reduced bearing will be whole circle bearing minus 180 degree when whole circle bearing is between 270 degree and 360 degree their corresponding reduced bearing will be and that will be 360 degree minus whole circle bearing thank you for watching this video if you find this video useful then write your comments and share with your friends who are preparing for edn exams jee exams or any other exams